Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing a little bit of Color Bingo, which is my favorite game uh, in the beauty community. And I picked palettes. I am so excited. I hope you are as well. So if you want to see uh, what we are doing today, then keep on watching. Also, by the way, I don't know when this video is coming off. If there is any of uh, like holiday, happy holiday. I don't know. Maybe it's Christmas time or uh, like New Year's I don't even know this is for me at least a bonus video so yeah depending on when this is coming up we will see about that let me tell you about some uh, color bingo listen I do absolutely love color bingo I play it myself on Instagram where I uh, like randomly choose numbers over a number generator and then I try to do something with colors this a uh, specific color bingo will be a little bit different I uh, watched Angeshka's uh, channel you know I love her this should be no surprise of course I will link her channel down below and uh, she did a color bingo where she selected specific palettes and from each and every palette she uses one color. Normally I'm doing like two or three palettes depending on the number of shades and then I pick uh, the um, colors from there but we are doing it the exact same way so I have here palettes and from each and every palette we will select one color that I have to use in my eyeshadow look and to make this a little bit more fun and more fun let's keep that real I picked one brand only and this is my Oons Eye palettes I do have five so yeah we will do that i pick from every single palette i pick one shade and then we or i try to make a look out of them not sure about that but i hope i don't regret that at the end but i don't think so so let's uh, start i would say i picked my number generator let's start with the Urd palette which is again all uden's eye palettes i thought why not sticking to that and this one is technically having five but I would say these are split so it's six colors let me write that down you hopefully see that here let me so six and we have number four which hopefully by the way I get a good amount of like shimmers and mattes and number four is if you don't one two three four is this one which is the split pan and this is the shade time i think it's glowing year and time and i think this one is time which is the stunning by the way stunning like look at this <gasps> color love that okay let's go further maybe we should go with the legendary dairy diversa palettes too i do have three of them and uh, I think we start with the Hummingbird, which is a collaboration between the Fancy Face. Yes, it's the Fancy Face and Uden's Eye. And uh, let me see, how many are these? 12? Yes, it should be 12, if I'm not mistaken. 4 times 3 should be 12. So let me erase that. And I think we'll see, like from 12 7 let me see 6 7 this is this is this color here which I'm starting to feel that look this is the beautiful uh, really bright almost neon pink and this is the shade hibiscus again stunning so far everything worked out well let me put also like a a towel so we do have the same amount of colors in the giant wolves which is in collaboration with Annette's makeup corner yes again same same number listen I, I'm a little bit scared about this one I also was scared of the old palette because there were really really deep colors but let me just tap again three so okay okay another matte this this shade here which I don't even know how to like comp oh, wow this is a stunning I should need to use oh, wow. I need to use this a little more 
By the way, there will be five colors and I do have a little bit of primer on my my hand. So just so you know, it's not that patchy. It's just because there is some primer. I just put everything, skincare and makeup boys on my hand. So this is, yeah, but you can definitely see. We do have one shimmer, two mattes. Let, let's go to the Hela, pal Hela palette, which is again also in the Legendary Diversa route. By the way, these two are not a these three I think are not available anymore but I do have them and I do want to play with them so yeah this is the Hela palette we have 16 colors in this if you didn't know again this is in collaboration with Engeshka um, I'm a little bit scared about these two I do need one deep color so I wish for this one but we'll see about that this is 16 let me switch that out and then we, let me tap, eight, eight, okay. Oh, well, that's also working out, which is this shade here. This is the deep tealy green. Wow. Like, listen, I, I don't, I, I. So far we have three mattes and one shimmer shade. And this, I don't even know what I should think about that. And the last one is a colorful one as well, because this one is the Sulmane 2 palette, which they came out this year with, I think, I don't even know, like a few months ago. These are 15 shades, 15 shades. They are gorgeous. I'm hoping for another shimmer though. Like, let's keep that real. It's 15, let me correct that and we're having 10 which is another shimmer which is great uh, this is this color though which is the shimmer purple <gasps> look at this it's so gorgeous I just don't know what I should do with these colors though. These are all the colors, one of each of the Odin's palettes I have and I own. So just so you know, these are not the whole like Odin's eye collection, but again, these are just the five palettes I own. Well, I zoom in a little bit, put some eye primer on. By the way, it didn't have anything on the lips because uh, I didn't know in which direction we were going with this. I'm a little scared though, and regarding my life choices. <sighs> let's do this. Don't know what I'm doing, so let's all be aware of that. So let's start with the shade from the Hummingbird palette, which is the pink, uh, or the hibiscus shade. And then let's, whew, let's try not to break any of the palettes. I do like them quite a bit and just put that on a brush and then let's start here in the more inner part listen i do love color bingo because of these situations where i just don't know what to do with them but in the end i hope it will look good hopefully <laughs> let's let's just pray for that you can definitely tell if i like look relaxed you see that there is still a little bit of red in there just like do it till the middle of the eye like so like so and then trying here let me and then i use the green the tealy green from the Hila palette i wished for the like other colors but Well, what should I say? We're getting what we're getting. Uh, I'm using again the green shade on a smaller brush. Oh, this is reminding me of one of the looks I did with, I don't even know which palette that was. Like this, and then we blend this together, hopefully. I know this part will not be like the most prettiest, but I mean, what should you expect from these colors? There will be also like a shimmer on top of that. I will put that again. 
I tried the best I can. Listen, this will not be like the prettiest uh, like blend ever because again, we don't have like the proper shades, I would say. Let me go to the Giant Wolves now. Let me try to deepen up the green with this green. Not sure if that is working out, but we will put that on top. Either ways, we don't care. I will use the shade Antipode the shade and then trying to like blend this here again I don't even know what I want to do on the lower lashes maybe that will at some point be revealed to me maybe put that maybe on the edges to the look so we're going into like the purple? I'm thinking purple. Let's let's be real. The, the purple is the option I have. This is this is looking really good though. Both of these colors, even though this is a warm green and a cool tone green. But it's not looking so bad. Let me also like blend it a little bit into the reddish color. It doesn't look bad guys. It's not looking bad. I would have never thought that this would look good so far, but listen, I was hoping. Now let's use the purpley shade and just, oh, maybe, maybe, let's, let's switch it up. Let's not use the purpley shade on top of the lid. Let's do that underneath the lower lash line and let's use this shade here. We selected on the eyelids, which is Gloden Year or Time. One of the both, and it's not golden, by the way, it's glowed. <laughs> Let's use that one on top of the lid. And I will just use, what do I want to do? We'll just use a flat brush, pick it up and spray it. I picked up a lot of that, and now we spray that. Because I don't want to have the fallout. I do have a little bit of fallout from the green. Because I didn't spray that. Okay, Let's uh, put that on the lid. This is not like the most opaque shade, to be honest, but it's not a big problem. We just built that up. Let me build that up and do that on both eyes. And let me be right back. It need a little bit more building up than I thought, but I mean, it's a top shade. So yes, let's go into, for the lower lash line, let's go into the green again, the deep green from the Hela palette. And just use that a little bit. And now we're going into, let me listen, so many palettes on my desk here, I think. And then let me just like do this just to connect the upper and the lower lid. Because I mean, it should look a little bit coherent, shouldn't it? And for blending out that shade, we will use the <laughs> Giant Wolf palette and then the lighter green which we did put here and just use a little bit on a smaller brush. I will like blend a little bit the color into the brush so that it looks a little bit more coherent and a little bit you know like not as opaque because I'm blending and I don't want to have like opaque opaque, at least not in this part. So that we just like put them together. I will just bring them in till my pupils start. At least that's the plan. And then we will just have one color left, which will be the um, shimmer purple, which will be perfect. Like so. This is looking, by the way, st stunning so far. We will put in the pink shade again from the Hummingbird palette. A little bit on a smaller brush. Just so we can, like, blend the purple on top. So it's looking like we do have the pink here. We will have it there as well. Just using a little bit again. I am, like, putting a little bit of the pigment on my putting a little bit of the pigment on my wrist or on my hand 
up but it doesn't it doesn't matter where you put it because I feel like again I just feel like this is a little bit more like it works a little bit of the pigmentation into the brush and then it's not just like ooh color and then you try to blend it which I find is a quite nice way and we just blend again the pink and the green together that worked quite well the, I like listen this is like stark green there is no medium shade except the red So for this reason, I feel like this is looking really nice. So now we do have it like this. We will use the purple, which we do have in the Somane 2 palette. <laughs> and we will spray that, guys. We will spray that. This is the shimmer purple, which is Hallucinations. This one. It's a gorgeous color, by the way. And we will use the same brush as the pink. I'm we'll just... Add a little bit of the purple and we spray that because again, I'm having enough follow for like five people. So we just like put that here. In between like the pink, the green and the shimmer shade, which by the way, I did also put a little bit in the inner corner. Look at this, so pretty. Wouldn't have expect that. I, would, I wouldn't even thought this would come out from that, but I mean, it is looking pretty. Look at this. I love it. I love it. Let me get the orange again, which is again, that shimmer shade. And we will use that again in the inner corner. You can definitely tell I dip my finger into that. But I absolutely love it. And we do have two shimmers, three mattes, I mean, I couldn't be even happier. Again, this shade from the World Palette is technically a topper, so we do need a little bit more work with that. But I feel like, again, I will just put it on the same brush. I did clean it in between and we spray it and then we put it in the inner corner just to marry everything together. Like so. Like, look at the shade. It's so it's it's gorgeous. And technically, that is the look. I will finish this up with lips, liners, lashes, and uh, I'll be right back. So I finished the look with lashes and liner, and I feel like this is like looking a little bit different. I feel like lashes do make a dif difference. Uh, I am uh, I have on the liner from Kaleidos, which is the Night of Creation. This is a stunning purple liner. I do have that on my inner like waterline. Such a pretty color. I, listen, I thought it would be lighter, but I forgot it's not. But it's not bad. I feel like it fits in the vibe and then for lashes i do have the lunar lashes foaming lashes in the style no bond because why not you know listen i never in a million years first of all thought that these colors were so difficult like again these are the colors do you have the old palette the hummingbird the giant wolves hela and soul mana 2 one shadow of each of the palettes. By the way, I forgot a little bit. Let me, let me readjust. So now this is working out. This is, by the way, the Kaleidos Lippy in the shade Cactus Flower. It is way more bright than you think it is because I feel like it's toned a little bit down through the camera, but it is a really, really hot neon pink. I love it. I thought it would fit into the, like the shade from the Hummingbird, which it did. Like, look at this. Like, isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? Love it. I never thought we can do this. Listen, these colors I felt like were like really, like we don't have a lot of like more medium to deeper tone. This is the only one that is a lot of brightness. This one is like not the best shape with these. This one is great. Listen, I was really, really worried about the old palette, to be honest, because I love the colors in the palette, but I feel like this is really difficult to pull off when you have like the brightest colors and you know, but I mean, it's gorgeous by itself. I love that, but to be honest, I do love the look. 
I never thought this could be happening. I love it. I do love the pop of purple on the lower lash line. I mean, this is so damn cute. So damn cute. I love it. Um, definitely, definitely will do that again. Yeah, like guys, if you want to see that type of video again with other palettes, please suggest the palettes though. Uh, maybe we can also like do, if I just have like three palettes, we can also do two shades from each palette. I feel like we do, we, we can do the uh, Kaleidos, which, listen, I do have a lot of Kaleidos palettes. Too many for that, I feel like. But we also have Beauty Bay. We do have a lot of things. Listen, there, there was or will be a declutter. You will see which brands I kept or which palettes I didn't like if you want to see that and just tell me um yeah I absolutely love the look especially if you want to see again Uden's Eye just tell me because I do absolutely love to use my Uden's Eye palettes they are amazing formula amazing uh quality and my I mean look at this such a pretty look. I am more than stoked that this is working out so great. So if you want to see other videos, other colorful content, then please subscribe to this channel. I have it three times a week, just so you know, maybe or are already subscribed, then I love you. I love you so much. Uh, thank you for following me. And um, yeah, I love the look. Guys, I love the look. I don't think like, I, 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 I think I wouldn't have thought that at the beginning, but I mean, like, look at this. We did that. We did that. So damn pretty. So, <laughs> without further ado, like, listen, I wish you a beautiful week. Again, if this is coming up in the holiday season, I wish you beautiful holidays. Doesn't matter what you are celebrating, beautiful holidays. And if it is uh, still 2022, I wish you a happy new year. And I hope you will stay tuned in 2023. And yeah, we see us in my next video. Bye guys.